if you clicked on this video, then that means that you want to take your Shopify store to the next level. Next level bananas. And you've been wondering about marketing. What are some of the best ways that you can start marketing your store? What are some of the most efficient ways to start marketing your store? Which way to market your store is gonna have the biggest return? Well, if I'm correct, then that means you need to stick around all the way to the end of this video so you can get all of your questions answered. Because today we're gonna be covering the top five ways that you can start marketing your Shopify store. And let's go. So to make things clear right from the beginning, the first thing that I am gonna mention is the fact that today we're gonna to cover a few different ways that are complete no BS ways to do this. So I'm not gonna BS you and tell you that tomorrow or next week, you're gonna start having a huge return on investment. You're gonna start getting maybe 20, 30, 50, 100 sales. No, these different methods are gonna take some time. They're gonna take some practice. They're gonna take a little bit of work. But at the end of the day, if you do these things correctly and you start marketing your store correctly, then you can start to see maybe your first 10, 20, 50, $100,000 start rolling in. But you need to be patient and you need to follow through with your marketing. Don't give up. If something's not working, try switching it up. Don't just completely stop and give up. I believe in you. Now, with that being said, the first marketing strategy that I'm gonna give you is gonna be optimizing your SEO. This is absolutely crucial. But at the same time, this isn't one of those things that are gonna give you results right away or maybe even within the next week or two. This is something that really is gonna take some time. So what exactly is SEO and why is it so important? Well, SEO simply put is search engine optimization. And what it means is how well you are at ranking on Google or how well your page ranks on Google. Have you ever Googled something and you find your answer within the first three or four links? Well, that's exactly what this is. People Googling certain questions or certain subjects or certain topics and your page coming up. Now, let me ask you one extremely important question and be serious right now. Have you ever actually clicked on the link on the second page of Google? Have you ever even been on the second page of Google? No. So that's what we're trying to avoid. We don't want to be on the second page of Google. We want to be on the first page because realistically speaking, nobody goes to the second page of Google. Everyone buys their answers on the first page. So one marketing strategy that you need to do is start implying some proper SEO. But how do you do this? Well, this can be a bit complicated, but there's definitely a lot of different ways and a lot of different tools to make it a lot easier. For one, use keywords. In your descriptions, in your titles, use keywords that you want to rank for. What keywords do you want to rank for? You want to rank for what people are searching for. So let's say somebody is Googling, how can I fix my back problems? And you have a back cracker or something like that. Well, in your descriptions or in your titles, you want to start implementing these different keywords. Start putting in something that has to do with your back, something how it can help with maybe certain conditions, things along those lines. This is what Google is going to be looking for when it scours the internet, looking for the user's question or looking for an answer to the user's question. Now, again, this can be something that can take a long time or something that some people might not be too familiar with. So if you do want help with this, if you want something that can be a lot easier for you, then you can pay somebody on a website like Fiverr. On Fiverr, you can find tons of different freelancers that are professionals in all of these different parts, specifically in SEO. So if you don't want to take on the SEO on your own, then don't worry about it. You can find some pretty cheap contractors on Fiverr. All right, next up at number two, you want to start implementing some social media strategies. This is insanely important and it completely blows my mind that there are so many businesses out there right now that still are not using social media to market their business. If you're not using social media to market your business, what are you waiting for? You're missing out on so much money and so much exposure. Like it's absolutely insane. Most people nowadays go to social media to validate their purchases, to look up reviews, and to even look up different links on people's profiles. So if you're not using social media, if you're not utilizing it, you're definitely missing out. So how can you start using social media? Well, for one, you need to develop a strategy that's going to revolve around your product. So try making posts, whether that be on Instagram or TikTok, pictures or videos, try making posts that people can relate to. So going back to the example of the back scratcher, you can put up a simple post talking about different types of back pains and a few different ways to be able to relieve it. Same thing goes for videos. You can make videos that are relevant to that as well. You can make videos that talk about different types of pain points for people's backs. And on the flip side, you can also talk about the benefits of your product and you can start linking everything together. Just make sure that all of your posts solve some sort of problem and make sure you identify that problem and you make it clear at the beginning. So that way when the viewer sees it, 
they automatically relate to it and they'll stick throughout the entire thing. Another type of post is simply adding social proof, reviews, or testimonials. Social proof is absolutely everything. And if people can see positive reviews, then they're a lot more likely to actually go to your website and make a purchase. I read a review. You read reviews? I read multiple reviews. And last but not least, this is one that I have personally found to be extremely helpful. This is one that's very useful and one that I highly recommend, probably more than anything else. And that's being active in your community. When somebody asks you a question, answer them back. There's tons of different profiles out there, tons of different businesses out there that have an insane amount of questions on their posts and they don't have any answers. Do you know how much business they're missing out on? People are asking a question because they're curious about your product. If you can answer them in 24 hours, then chances are they're going to find some trust in you and they're going to be more comfortable actually making a purchase. This is something that is extremely important. Always be active within your community. Be friendly, give suggestions, solve problems, give your viewers or your fan base different solutions. All of this stuff goes a long way, trust me. Speaking of social media, everything I just mentioned is pretty much the free organic way of doing it. But you also have the paid way of doing things. So you have paid ads. Now, when it comes to paid ads, there's two main platforms right now that are absolutely killing it. And that's Facebook and TikTok. TikTok though, if you're not on there, I know a lot of people are still a little bit iffy about it, but if you're not on TikTok, you're missing out on a huge demographic of people. But when it comes to actually marketing your products on TikTok or Facebook ads, or even Google ads, there's a lot of things that can go into this that are gonna require some research and some work. It's also gonna require a lot of testing. You wanna make sure that you're targeting the right demographic of people and that you have the right audience, because if you don't, then the people are just not gonna be interested in what you're showing them. Now, in the same way that SEO can be outsourced with somebody on Fiverr, so can Facebook and TikTok ads. There's tons of different services on Fiverr or online that can take care of this entire process for you. But of course, if you do wanna save money, then you can take on all of this yourself. Now, if you wanna learn about Facebook ads and you want an in-depth guide, then just go ahead and comment down below, hashtag Shopify marketing, and let me know what your plans are to market your Shopify store. Once I see that you left a comment, I'm gonna go ahead and reply back with a link to a free ebook that explains everything that you need to know about Facebook ads and how to get started. Trust me, this is a very in-depth ebook that answers every single one of your questions when it comes to Facebook marketing. And again, it's totally free. So just make sure you go ahead and comment down below, hashtag Shopify marketing, and let me know what you're planning to do in terms of marketing for access to the ebook. Now, speaking of posting content on social media, there is also content marketing. Now, what exactly is content marketing and how does it differ from social media marketing? Well, simply put, content marketing is any type of content or any form of content that you're uploading to your website. So if you have a blog, if you have an article, if you have a section for videos where your viewers can go on there to learn about whatever it may be, then that is considered content marketing. And the best part is, is if you're implementing different types of articles or blogs into your website, then that's also helping with your SEO. When you're writing these articles or blogs, chances are you're writing in a ton of different keywords that you want to rank for. Now, the only thing you need to make sure you do in there is make sure you also start addressing different pain points. So that way those pain points can rank on Google as well. Content marketing is also one of those that's a long-term game and also traffic to your website or to your blogs can also fluctuate depending on the time of year. Certain topics are more popular in certain times of the year. So the more you can write, the more content you can put out there, the better your SEO is going to be and the better your chances are to appear on the first page of Google. Fingers crossed. Now, aside from helping with your SEO, content marketing can also help actually sell different products. So once again, going back to our back problems. You can make an article or you can write a blog that has to do with back pains and certain solutions. And in those solutions, you can include your products. Now, last but not least, we have one that is probably one of the most important ones on here that for whatever reason, a lot of people aren't doing. Some people actually think it's dead, but trust me, it, it's not dead. You can make tons of money with email marketing. So the easiest way to go about email marketing is simply to collect a lot of different emails from your website visitors. Now, I know that's a lot easier said than done, but hear me out. The easiest way you can get people's emails is to offer something in return. Make it a transaction. Make it an exchange. Give them something free. Give them a discount on a product. Give them a discount on a future order. Any sort of incentive that you can offer, people are going to be trading their emails for. How many times have you gone to a website and the first thing that pops up is put in your email here for 10% off? <laughs> a lot, right? That happens in a ton of different websites. 
Some of the biggest websites implement this same feature. Go to Nike, go to Foot Locker, go to any big name retail store, and they're gonna be implementing email marketing. There's a reason they do this, and that's because it works. Now, in order to get started with email marketing, when you're on Shopify, there's tons of different apps that you can use. My personal favorite, the one that I've always used has been MailChimp, but you can start email marketing on Shopify pretty much for completely free using their platform. Shopify lets you send out a certain number of emails per month. And honestly, once you get to that threshold, I think it's about 10,000. By that point, you're already going to be making a little bit of money with email marketing. So you can use whatever you make from it to reinvest into a different app that can further help you scale your email marketing. Now, those are my top five marketing strategies to market your Shopify store. Remember to let me know down in the comments below which one of these you plan on implementing. And also make sure you comment the hashtag Shopify marketing so you can get access to the free Facebook ads ebook. Aside from that, let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments below as well. If you stuck around this long, then that means you enjoyed this video. So if that's the case, make sure you smash that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and more importantly, make sure you hit that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with Auto ZS. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. And with that, catch you all next time.